if you are one of the people who love soft and delectable pastries, this recipe is definitely for you. So most of the time, you'll notice your local bakeries elevating their business by adding this into their menu. So bakit naman hindi? Apart from being a truly delicious pastry, easily paired with your breakfast, merienda, or kahit mga malatamis na inumin, but also, this is very easy to make. So today, we'll be teaching you how to make your very own Filipino Swiss roll, popularly known as Pianono. Made, of course, special with Lurpak Soft Butter. So guys, gather up your baking tools and join us with our newest series of episodes as we highlight our local breads and pasalubong from our local travels. Hi guys, mabuhay! This is Chef Timothy Ray Azores Falier from the Pastry Alliance of the Philippines. Welcome to our Hero Digital Kitchen Series. So in our mixer bowl, or a mixer, ilalagay lang natin ang ating egg yolk. Yan. And our sugar. So, ito yung first sugar sa recipe. So, atay na natin siya maging fluffy. So, turn your mixer into a high speed or number 6 or number 8. Okay, let's check. So, a very fluffy na siya and very pale, we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. So here, we're going to add our milk, our Lurpak soft butter. So it will add moisture and the buttery flavor sa ating pianolo. So we add in natin. Then we're going to add our salt, baking powder, and our cake flour. So mix lang natin until na fully incorporated ang ating flour mixture sa ating egg yolk. So kailangan wala siyang lumps, kumbaga. Then we're going to set this aside and we're going to get another bowl for our merak. So we're gagawa na yung tayo ng French meraks. So I have here another bowl. So, bubuhos ko lang ating egg whites. Then, half of the sugar. So, nilalagyan natin half the sugar to help it to be aerated. Okay? So, ang hinaharap muna natin is to have a um, big bubble sa ating egg whites before we add our another batch of sugar. So, again, turn off your speed into number 8 or number 6 to incorporate more air sa ating meringue. So guys, if your meringue is already white, then we're going to add out the rest of our sugar. So we're going to add it little by little. And we're going to wait it to have a medium peak. So as you can see, while the meringue is whipping, habang nag-whip siya, it's not, as kita nyo na, paunti-unting pubikita ang inyong merengue. So that indicates that it's already forming its peaks. So may tatlong kinds of peaks natin. We have the soft peak, ganito siya. We have the medium peak, ganito siya, medyo mga kaunti. And we have the steep peak. Ang hinahanap natin ngayon sa ating merengue is the medium peak, which is Okay, about 45 degrees ng ating um, pagsasinabi natin sa ruler. So, let's check. So, I think we have already our steak peak. So, ganyan ang hinaharap natin. Of course, it should be shiny. Okay, the shine, okay, galing siya sa sugar na nilagay natin. So, i-fold na natin sa ating uh, egg yolk mixture. So, kukuha muna tayo ng 1 fourth sa ating merengue. 
okay, para ma-balance natin ang fluffiness ng dalawa. So, we're just going to mix some of the egg whites ating egg yolk mixture. Okay, so pag ano na siya, fully incorporated, then we're going to start to fold it in yung ating the rest of our meringue. Then, kalakati muna ng total meringue. Then, we're going to fold. So, gently fold your batter. So, habang tinuturn natin ang ating bowl. So, bakit natin tinuturn ang bowl? Because it will help us, okay, to get the size of the bowl. So, ayan. Then, the rest of our meringue. Then, fold it again. So, you're looking for it is very soft batter, but without the stripes of the white. So, pag sinabi natin, without the stripes of the white, kailangan fully incorporated ang ating egg white. Why? Because, okay, yung egg white na yan, pag hindi fully incorporated, hindi level yung pagkaangat ng inyo cake. So, yeah, so once na fully incorporated na, it's very fluffy and very soft. Do not over uh, fold it. Okay, baka magtubig ang inyo batter. We're going to set this aside. And we're going to get our jelly roll pan. So we have here our jelly roll pan. The size of our pan is 10 by 14 inches. Okay, so divide your batter into two. All right, so we're going to spread our cake batter evenly sa ating jelly roll pan. So using our offset spatula. Ayan. Okay, then yung isa naman. So look at the batter is very silky. Okay? Alam niyo yung ano, yung kintab niya tsaka yung pagka fluffiness niya. Okay, magiging malambot ng inyong cake na kakalabasan. Alright. Then, tak-tak yun ng dalawang beses. To really soft the air pockets. So guys, preheat your oven for 160 degrees Celsius and ibibig natin ito ngayon for about 15 to 20 minutes. Do not overbake it. So, ang hinahanap lang natin is our, is the top should be a little bit golden. So, yan. Salang na natin. So, while waiting for our pianono in the oven, I have something for you. So guys, do you have business? Are you using Arla and Arla Pro for your daily professional needs? Get a chance to win exciting prizes by sharing with us your Arla stories. All you have to do is to make your favorite recipes while using Arla product. Take a photo of your recipe, post it online, and tag us with our official Facebook page Via at Arla PH. Don't forget to share your kitchen stories why you trust Arla and Arla Pro for your dairy needs with the hashtag, hashtag MyArlaPro and get a chance to win 6,000 pesos worth Arla and Arla Pro products. Five lucky winners will be chosen for the months of June and July 2021. So guys, let's check our Pianono in the oven. Okay guys, you want to see 
little golden brown on top. Okay? So guys, let your piano na cool down for about 30 minutes. Ayan. Para hindi matuno ang ating palaman. So speaking of palaman, let's start making our dulce de leche buttercream. So, in our bowl, fitted with our whisk attachment, nagamit tayo ng ating Lurpak Soft Butter. So, lagay natin ng ating Lurpa Soft Butter. And we're going to whip it until pale and fluffy. Then we're going to add our dulce de leche. We're just going to mix it until it will come a spreadable consistency. Okay, so as you can see in our bowl here, ay nag-uumpisa na siya mag-sticken up. So yeah, so, while it will take more air and more air is incorporated, it will be fluffy. Okay, and also it will make it pale, a little bit pale. Okay, kasi yung dulce de leche natin brown. So this one is a little bit more on beige side color. Okay guys, our buttercream is a little bit thick already. Okay, there you have it. It's more spreadable. Then, we spread na natin siya sa ating pianono. So our pianono is a little bit cold already. So yan, nagamit lang muna tayo ng isa. Okay, kukuha pa tayo ng parchment paper. Ilalagyan natin sa gitna. At tatanggalin natin yung parchment paper na pinagbigan natin. Siya, so, tawag natin. Okay, pero ano? So, ayan. So, as you can see, our piano is very fluffy and very flexible. So, re-remove lang natin. Naamoy ko yung ano, yung pagka butter flavor niya because of our Lurpak Soft Butter na nilagay natin dito. Okay, sa ating piano. So, lalagay natin ngayon ang ating Dulce de Leche Buttercream. Manipis na manipis lang. So, ayan. So, pwede nyo siya guys kapalan ha. Pero traditional piano, no, is very manipis lang talaga ang kanya filling. A bit more. Okay, para mas masarap ang ating piano, no. Then, we're going to start to roll our piano, no. So, sa new parchment paper, ang technique is, we need to okay, roll first. Okay, pag na-roll nyo yan, then we're going to roll yung iba. So, yung guide nyo is yung parchment paper. Okay, kasi it's finished product, para hindi nyo rin siya hawak yung inyong ganon. Okay. So, gently roll. So, you're going, inihila mo ngayon yung parchment paper. Okay, paangat ngayon dun sa end niya. So, ayan. Okay, so once na nasa end na, turn your parchment paper again sa kabilang side and you close it. So, co-cover niyo siya, parang regalo, i-roll back niyo siya with the parchment paper. So, ayan. Then at this point, i-chill niya na siya. Okay, papalabikin. Para mag-harden up yung ating palaman, and of course, mag-stabilize yung ating yung shape ng piano. Okay, so chill this for about 30 to 1 hour inside the chiller, or kung kailan niya siya na matakam, nakainin. So, ayan. Okay, guys. Yung piano na natin is a little bit of na lumamig na. So, ayan. Wow. So traditional piano, no, to finish it, they often um, sprinkle granulated sugar. 
to add texture, yung pag-crisp ng sugar, and to add a sweetness din sa pianono. So for this episode, and for this version, we're going to put mascovado here, granulated sugar, and of course, medyo healthy, cocoa sugar. Yan, so pagkakaluhin lang natin. So yan. So different texture of sugar, different flavor of sugar. Depan natin roll So, para magdudikit ang ating sugar sa ating pionono, of course, we're going to put some glue. So, anong glue natin? We have our soft lurpak butter. So, we're going to spread it. So, ayan, soft na siya. We're just going to spread it into our roll. So, this will add another layer of buttery flavor in our pianono. Then we're going to sprinkle some of the sugar in the parchment paper. Dito lang, muna. Then we're, using the parchment paper, you're going to start going to roll it out. So, ayan. There. So, pwede nyo siya i-roll ng buo sa sugar, but pwede rin ibabaw. So, there. And we're going to put it in our serving bowl. Ayan. So, yan ang ating piyano. Let's cut it. Okay guys, tapos na ang ating piyano. No? It, nakikita nyo, it's very soft. Ayan, very fluffy at yung piano, no? And it will add a very buttery flavor once we taste it. Tikman na natin. Mmm! Napakasarap. It's very buttery. Okay? Tama nga na Lurpak Soft Butter ang ginamit natin. So guys, we can clearly see how this elevates your local bakery menu. Not only in this very easy to create, but also perfect for your reference to soft pastries. So now you can enjoy this at home with your family and friends or even add it to your pastry business. Made better with Arla products. So saan niyo ba hahanapin ang Arla products? Find our best Arla and Arla Pro products when you visit any SNR membership clubs near you. Be sure to look for our Arla Pro sales consultant ready to assist you for any dairy kitchen needs. Also, Global Pacific Distribution Network is the exclusive food distributor for Arla and Arla Pro products. So guys, we hope this recipe helps you elevate your baking game, not only at home, but also for your food business. Be sure to stick around next week for more recipes and food business ideas brought to you by Arla Pro Digital Kitchen Series. Again, this is Chef Timothy Falier from the Pastry Alliance of the Philippines, Salamat po!